Hey, Mike here with Reprint Equipment. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on with your DX7 printhead. Uh, but first, I'd like to introduce myself if you're not familiar with myself or my company. I am one of the largest resellers of used wide format printing equipment in the country. I travel the entire country uh, purchasing uh, old used uh, wide format printers and bringing them back to life. I've done this for about 15 years and I don't believe there's many with a stronger understanding of these printheads or its previous model DX4 printheads than myself. Uh, in my business, You know, we try to save these things rather than replace, uh, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, this print head, there's no saving it. Uh, there is a fix that I will show you in another video. Uh, I have successfully repaired these. I actually have uh, many uh, XR640s that I use in-house that I have uh, uh, replaced the, the, the nozzle plate and resealed things back up. And I actually have them running for over seven months now. Uh, so these can be repaired, but it's not for the faint of heart. And we're gonna dedicate a whole video just to that topic of repairing this print head. Uh, but for now, let me show you exactly what's going on. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna play a little video of my show room show you some of the awesome equipment I have in stock and I'm going to keep bringing lots of great information in 2023 I just ask that you please like subscribe you know check out our Facebook page if you're on the market for any type of used equipment give me a give me a ring if you're looking to sell some equipment then uh, check us out as well I'm always looking to buy uh, laser engravers uh, DTF DTG uh, embroidery screen printing pretty much anything graphic related I'm always looking to buy used equipment so make sure you let me know and I'll keep this information coming for free so uh, what we have going on with this print head is very simple. I'm going to grab me a little pointing apparatus. Uh, what we have typically going on in 99% of these print heads that I see, uh, this is what you have going on. Uh, the, the glue that seals this print head on the sides, as you can see, it's braced on the sides, so they typically don't fail right here. It's usually right around here and here. And I'll actually show you a little video. Uh, you can see I'm gently pushing a little uh, cleaning solution through the head. And as you can see, it's coming right out the side. Very common, this is where it fails. Uh, the glue that's used, I actually have this glue and I have the patent information. It is a great glue, but with this such a big uh, nozzle surface, it's kind of hard to uh, keep this, this sealed uh, for what it is. And for the majority, the problem lies within its capping and its cleaning. So typically when it does its cleanings, which is normally uh, to preserve the head, it's actually ruining the head. What happens is whenever it's capped, the capping station one is putting a lot of pressure on this nozzle plate, flexing it back and forth. And two, it's doing its suction, which is sucking down this nozzle plate. I've also seen many Many different instances where someone has purchased a, a wide format printer with this printhead and in the transport process uh, they seen it working they inspected it and uh, it was printing just fine at the previous location when they move it uh, the the vibration from you know the truck or the trailer just you know it just runs these printheads I've seen it many different times and I've actually had it happen to myself many a times uh, typically when I sell a printer with a new printhead they're pretty solid and I haven't seen this uh, um, to be the case with a new printhead, but with a used printhead, they're just ticking time bombs. You never know when they're gonna go out. I've heard many instances of techs having to replace these after six, seven months. Another major uh, impact on these printheads and their lifespan is the type of inks you use. UV being the most volatile. I'm a member of many different uh, Facebook groups and in the Muto UV groups, this was pretty uh, prominent head in the UV printers. And people are replacing these a lot quicker than uh, someone with maybe a, a water-based sublimation printer because it's not as aggressive on the adhesive. Uh, which brings me to another good point. If you're uh, looking to prolong the life of your print head, it's vital to use the manufacturer's ink. Uh, here I have a Roland cartridge. Uh, this is a, let's see what we have here. Oh, wrong one. Nope, this is it. This is a, a Max black ink. And as you can see, uh, when you open it up, you'll see the little EP peeking through there under their barcode. They kind of hit it. This was made by Epson. It was developed for this print head for the for their print heads uh, they have a conditioner that actually conditions the seals inside these uh, print heads and they actually uh, will help along the life of the printhead. If you're using aftermarket inks, you never know what's in them and they could be destroying your printheads as well. I've seen it with several. I won't go into a knocking uh, uh, game, knocking uh, ink manufacturers, but I've seen several that do uh, weaken the seals. They have a very strong, uh, aggressive uh, base agent that carries the uh, ink. And I've actually put under microscope many different cleaners and different types of ink and you can actually witness it dissolving the adhesive. So be careful what you're using. Uh, also, when you're doing your daily maintenance uh, or if you're doing a head soak, make sure we're using OEM. This is just rolling. I just grabbed a couple rolling cartridges, uh, but here we have their saw ink cleaner. And again, as you can see, 
You can see it peeking through there, the Epson. This was developed by Epson, uh, and it's made to be safe. It's the only solution that should, that should ever go through your print head if you're doing a flush or even uh, doing a head soak or uh, doing your daily wipe down. So a lot of this aftermarket stuff, it's either paint thinner or uh, acetone mix. It's not uh, uh, good for your print head. So even the most meticulous of uh, printer maintenance people, uh, they're wiping down their print heads thinking that they're doing something good and clean it you could be running your print head so make sure we stick with the oem stuff with this print head in particular uh the dx4 was a pretty robust print head uh it wasn't bad with the seals because it only had two channels but this one's very very sensitive so i can't stress enough how oem inks this was developed by the manufacturer of this print head uh if you use any other type then you're likely destroying your print head so be very very careful now before i jump off here i'd like to show you epson's glaze this model this is the print head that they have in their current uh, solvent series the uh, s80s the s60s uh, etc they all use this uh, newly designed print head which you can see epson solved the problem of the uh, excessive nozzle plate uh, by putting braces in between each channel and they went back to their uh a uh, single cap top system where they actually have a single cap top per channel that isn't putting the force like it would on the, the uh, DX7 head. So uh, they know of the problem. Unfortunately, if you have the DX7, here's another view of the DX7 the insides, which I'll go into uh, more depth on this print head in the next video on how you can actually seal this back up. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Today is the 13th. Uh, in a few days, I'll have that put up and I'll show you how you can fix the print head if you are someone that's a DIY or do it yourself. You want to try to save this printhead uh, because honestly the majority of the printers that I purchased are people that uh, did not uh, save back for another printhead they just couldn't justify the cost of $3,500 to replace one of these so oftentimes the machines I buy people are just you know they're at wits in they're you know ready to throw in the towel get out of the business uh, so that's very unfortunate so if we can help you save your printhead uh, I understand what they cost and I've been there myself uh, when it comes to uh, printers I've had a printer myself and couldn't afford a repair and actually that's how I got here uh, into repairing printers because I learned to do it myself i did a lot of uh, uh i've done a lot with these printers trying to figure out how to save them unclog them which we're going to have lots of videos on unclogging print heads so stay tuned and thank you for watching